YouTube, we are back with the crew. Uh, we're doing a round two of our Q and A um, after we had some technical difficulties with the first one. Oh, I'm joined turn here. Gerald didn't turn on his mic. Yeah, shut up! It's on now. <laughs> um, it is on and working, and I'm joined by the crew. Like I said, I got TJ, RB, Jarrell, and Rio um here to kind of answer some of your questions you know you guys sent in a lot of our uh, a lot of questions to us and we're we were excited to answer them we're doubly excited now um hopefully this one's a little bit more polished as well and yeah for those of you who haven't seen it yet we do have information for our box tournament we're not going to spend too much time on this but we do want to plug that uh signups are now live the tournament will be March 9th. Uh, Signups will be open until I believe it's the 7th. That's what we agreed upon. Yeah, you can see um, all the details on the Discord. Yeah, yeah. So we'll link it in the video description down below as well. But March 9th, starting at 10 a.m. Central Time. You know, so if you want to join us and play some Digi, it'll be there. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, you know, let's hop into some of these questions here um, and kind of go round robin. So the first question is from you user jdc o n his pc i don't know if i butchered that one or not JDC but on his pc jesus i'm <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm glad you said everything out but you spelled that o -N. the funniest part is, is when we initially recorded this you got that right you said it right true <laughs> true we just got back from a locals that was like six hours so yeah, I, I, we're, we're struggling here but anyways, the question does read, what are your guys' favorite Digimon? And if you could only have one Digimon as a rookie partner, who would it be? Why don't you, why don't you lead us off, TJ? Uh, okay. Uh, favorite would probably have to be um, kind of a tie between uh, BLs and Dorogora. Those are my two favorite boys. Um, if I had to have one rookie partner it'd probably be Doromon. that'd probably be the the one i do the, the one i go i also love padda oh god don't die <laughs> anyways um but yeah that would that would be mine i, I think uh, they're just really cool like them since i was little how about you rb uh Wormon, right there <laughs> he's sitting right there right here rio how about you Oh, uh, for me, it would probably be Beelstar between Beelstar and like maybe Godomon, but I wish Godomon not a, was not a rookie, buddy. <laughs> that's I a know, that's yeah. a favorite. <laughs> uh, my favorite rookie would be Renamon. Yeah, but yeah, we just need to accept the fact that Godomon's just as useless as anyone else and should be a rookie <laughs> anyway. But it's okay because you know story, story lore. Uh -huh. How about you, Jiro? All right, well. The favorite, the favorite has got to be Mega Gargo. And then obviously the rookie partner is the boy right here on, on the yeah. mic. So, yeah. yeah, I think. And then for me, I, I think Bond. I mean, I think that's probably my favorite Digimon. And then the partner, this little boy over here, except I'm never letting him go into Bond because that motherfucker going to go away forever. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think Gabu for sure. For sure. He'll disappear um, right at your cellular yeah. service. Dude, I can't oh, get over no. the fact that Wormon looks like a hair clip right now on Arby. <laughs> like, <I don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just unmoving. He's so cute. Uh, uh, next question is by Tito Bandito 8399 and it reads, how did all of you get into the card game and Digimon in general? If you guys participate and uh, if you guys participate in other forms of media of the franchise. So I guess like video games, TV shows, and whatnot. Mm. Anybody want to take the lead on that one? Oh well, yeah, yeah. I'll, I guess I'll go first. Uh, so, Digimon the card game. I loved Digimon as a kid. Um, uh, I watched it a lot growing up. And then when the card game came around, uh, we were still like in the midst of the COVID pandemic. I mean, I guess we still are. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I at the time I had gotten like some. Uh, I some bonuses from work uh because i was working extra days uh because they needed people for more money so uh like you know i had you know a couple hundred um every couple weeks <laughs> <laughs> and it's like what am i gonna do with this they're all they're all like amazon gift cards uh so i bought you know like a booster box um 
online and then I went to Dean's and bought some. Um, and yeah, I mean, like I sat down and played with my friend Kevin and well, we loved it. Like it, it, you know, represented mechanics from the show well, like digivolving. Mm -hmm. um, and thought it was great so we were both like yeah let's let's go for it and then i bought no oh, like <laughs> you've become our you've become cool. our digi sugar daddy yeah oh i mean every, okay with everyone like buying cases now it's like true you need to be the sugar daddy sugar i'm just here i'm just to here. keep more of the sugar for yourself true i, I still need one <laughs> less, less sugar all the daddy yeah. <laughs> oh. Who's up next? I'll, I'll go next. Uh, so I'm pretty much the same. I've loved Digimon since I was a kid. Uh, grew up watching the show. I definitely liked. I, uh, I definitely. It was like one of those situations where I liked Digimon more than Pokemon, but you didn't talk about it because if you did, you got pointed at and be like, "It's just a copycat. This, this not the Pokemon did it first. Pokemon did it better." You're stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty much. That's, that was the that was the that was how it went. Um, but yeah, I loved it ever since then, and uh, got into the card game in April of twenty two. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Right, right when the Old Force and Gallant Starters came out, and before BT eight came out, there was like a little bit of yeah. BT seven come out. Yeah. Um. And like, I saw the art, and then I instantly went and bought boxes and decks, and I just my wallet we wept because I had just <laughs> gotten my tax return. And so I was like, "Well, I can't, I'm but this is the first. This is a good tax return. I'm gonna go well, spend yeah. some money." I hope you're ready um, for the anniversary. That's around the corner. <laughs> yeah. Well, because uh, I, I think that's when I first met you, right? At the beat. Well, I don't think it was the first you, time, but that's when we no. started really first, like talking more it was like bt8 pre-release i think yeah yeah i think so because i'd yeah. seen you at the at fair game a couple of times yeah uh but um i i i was a nervous i didn't talk to anybody it was i was it was i was there with like shy and then that was it and we just yeah. we just like we talked to each other we didn't talk to much of the other people i think shy was actually more outgoing than i was um yeah it's about right yeah <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, as for the media, I mean, I've watched all the anime except for Cross Wars, because Cross Wars I can't seem to get through. It just hurts too much the beginning. Um, mm -hmm. I guess I haven't watched, uh, Apple or whatever. Oh, yeah. That one. I haven't seen that either. Um, and then, I love playing the games. Uh, I love just Digimon merch in general. You know, yeah. it's, it's all got me. In Cyber the, Sleuth. It's hooks in me. Oh, Cyber Sleuth. Cyber Sleuth. Cyber Sleuth. You need another one? Yep. <laughs> How about you, Rio? Oh yeah, I was kind of in the same boat as TJ growing up. Watched it on TV. I was like, man, this is really cool. But then, of course, like none of my friends were into Digimon, so I kind of stuck with Pokemon. But uh, as far as the the card game goes, I was keeping track of it when it was re-released. I guess you could say, like this this current one was set for Japan. I was keeping track. I was like, oh, that's cool. And then the second I heard that. It was getting a U.S. release. I started proxying everything with my local guys. I'm like, yo, guys, we have we have to play Digimon. Like, this is gonna be sick because we were coming off the Buddy Fight train. Rest in peace, mm -hmm. Buddy Fight. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we we're just like, oh, we gotta play this game. We started proxying, and literally like a week later, I was playing in a full proxy tournament from one of our local shops, mm -hmm. and it was super fun. And then I was super salty because I lost to a guy, of course. But uh, <laughs> but, yeah. Hell, yeah, it was super dope. And, like, the second I played in that first tournament, uh, I was like, I'm hooked. This game is so good. It was, it was nonstop from there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to repeat. It's already been said. Like, obviously we all watched it. Um, yeah. In, in the, in the earlier years. Um, but yeah, I mean, outside of, outside of the card game or like getting into the card game, I think it was around like BT seven. Um, Sonny was like, literally just randomly hit me up on this one and it's like hey we should try this so we loaded it up on tts and i'm like this game isn't half bad went out bought a couple decks bought like four or five booster boxes from teens <laughs> <laughs> um and yeah it just kind of went in from there um and that was around the time i was getting back in the card games too so that was neat um but i mean outside of that bandai my one request is just give me a digimon rumble arena remake <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I don't not yeah. not the, not Rumble Arena too. I don't want Team Brawler. I want one v one. Give me good old Digimon Rumble Arena, and I'll be happy. <laughs> let's take it. Let's take it to Combo Breaker. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start a side bracket. <laughs> They'll do their side events better than Bandai ever did. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, but oh, yeah, I think Ditto to Jarrell to um I watched the show as a kid. I was a huge Digimon guy. Same more Digimon than I was Pokemon. I distinctly remember like throwing a ton of little hissy fits when I was a kid because my mom would take me out either to like piano lessons or like groceries. Like, no, I have to watch Digimon. It's on in an hour. Why aren't we home? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I but yeah, I at my dad because he accidentally taped over my taped uh, Digimon episode. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then I think what perked my interest with the card game, similar to what RB mentioned too, is like we're in the middle of COVID. You know, there's a lot of like the Pokemon craze going on, and you know, a couple of YouTubers that I watched who like cracked Pokemon, like we're starting to crack like Digimon stuff, and I was like, oh shit, you know, that looks actually pretty nice, like. The art was pretty nice and the cards looked really cool. I remember seeing like those gold circuit board like alt arts and I was just like, I need a, I, I, I'm, I'm sold. Like I'm in. Yeah. Um, and then I bought a couple of like the premium packs from GameStop and I was like, you know, like I should probably learn how to play the game. Like instead of just collecting stuff like I did with Pokemon, I was just like, I might as well like try to use the cards that I'm going to buy and not just like let them sit there. And then I started playing the game. I was like, oh, sh this is really fun. <laughs> like, like sort of like you said, it was like exactly like the TV show. And it just, yeah, it was, it was just really good. And here we are. Um, but yeah, I think that'll wrap it up for that question. Uh, the next one is from Lazim, who's one of our local players as well. So shout out to you. Um, and his question is, what is your favorite deck in the card game? Who wants to shoot at it? Mm. Not just Mon. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You mean right. Melga, right? Oh god, <laughs> fucking don't remind me. <laughs> what, what deck is it, Jarrell? What's your favorite? I mean, just Mon is my bread and butter at this point. Um, yeah. That's the yeah. deck I will always default to. Um, but I mean, outside of that, like I've been having fun with Royal Knights Red Hybrid. Um, those are probably like my other two mainstays at this point, and then you've been cooking with Alter S too. <laughs> yeah, you you've done. Uh, let's not forget oh, he let's... who craves the za, brah. Let's. <laughs> no, that's this is my this is my two week, this is my two week villain arc, and then I'm done uh, for yeah. Apocalypse. Um, but I mean, outside of that, I'm I'm looking forward to Terrier. That'll probably be like one of my top three. It'll probably knock out like Royal Knights is my top three. So. You guys a green player now? Whoa. It's green and black. You know, that's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. And uh, yellow <laughs> and purple, I think. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> Who's up next? Uh, I guess I'll go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so my, my favorite deck is actually Mel. <laughs> <laughs> Imperials on the... I mean, Imperials, like, it, it was one of my favorite decks, but it's just kind of... It's harder to play now. Um, Don't worry, it's coming back. Many, yeah. yeah, your era will be here soon. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was just so much fun, and it's it's just you know it's, it's super linear to play. You just push out, push out your stack, start swinging, hope your opponent can't delete your guy, and then uh. Yeah. Whenever I play you and you're playing Melga, dude, there's like a light in your eye. There's like a fire that just like, boom. I was like, oh shit, I'm fucked. Good run. That's a line when he sees the line. That was it. Yeah. Um, yeah, seeing the line, which yeah, I think Jarrell once asked me like, oh shit, RV got tournament. What'd you do? I was like, I I, uh, I got the full line of Melga. <laughs> I probably didn't. <laughs> I won. <laughs> My opponent didn't play the game. Yeah. How about you, Rio? Uh, so my favorite deck would probably be Beale Star. Just I, I love like controlly game mechanics or like mm -hmm. controlly decks. So Beale Star is right up there for me. Uh, my panic button though is Sekon. I think once per <laughs> set, I always fall back to Sekon just because yeah. I'm, I'm so bored. I don't know what else to play, so I hit a panic button. But yeah, definitely Beelstar though as my my top deck. If I could keep a deck alive and mm -hmm. running, it'd be Beelstar. TJ, the Highway Man. The mm -hmm. Highway Man. Uh, is not uh, 
It's not feeling very highway right now. No, uh -huh. um, it's I would say favorite decks is definitely probably Beelzebon's up there. You know, mm -hmm. before they took him out back and shot him like old Yeller. <laughs> um, spoilers, by the way. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, <laughs> <You're> old Yeller. <laughs> I'm getting old Yeller um, right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, Beels and uh shine just because i loved both of them um i didn't really get to enjoy doragora because like or like i say like doragora x anybody stuff because mm -hmm. he got shot before he could even do anything <laughs> um right now that would probably be somewhere between Levi uh probably levia is I, I love i just love my big my big crocodile uh my big crocodile kaiju and then I, uh -huh. um, as well as uh, Sovereigns. You do love your Godzillas. I do love my true. Godzillas. True. This is very true. Yeah, I think that those are mine. Nice. Um, for me, I, I, I started the game playing out blue, so I think blue is kind of where I usually fall to. Um, I've been vibing a lot with Mirage a lot lately. Uh, took it to Nats, and I, I, I have a lot of fun playing the deck, and it's arguably like a deck that I kind of synergize with a lot with the balancing and the memory stuff. But I think ultimately, like, if I'm going to be like, I got to pick one, I, it's got to be Cross for me. I think Cross for me is by far probably my most favorite with how, like, toolboxy can feel and just how flexible it is. Like, I just, yeah, it's probably my favorite deck for sure. The the, the fact that that Blue Hybrid is getting a Cross mechanic, <laughs> just, I know you're going to love that. And while I'm happy for you, I am miserable for myself <laughs> and, 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 the, and the ringer that i'm gonna have to go through. i'm coming oh, no. in more ways than one and deal with a so different boring. you're gonna have to deal with a different ahead. that's for the only fans content jerrell you don't put that on youtube <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, and then we've, <laughs> we've got another question here from Johnard. Um, basically just as, do you guys have any competitive accomplishments that you are proud of? I think we could probably even open it up to like just card games in general, I guess. Cause I know we dabble into like different card games. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. King. Yeah. Yes. TJ. I, I got 69th. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. That's, that's... <laughs> That you planned that one, right? You planned that one. It was a beautiful uh, destiny to fulfill. Um, I I, uh, I think that that is really where my my, my threat of fate ended, and now I'm just kind of coasting, dude, because that was that was <laughs> everything I needed in life. <laughs> nice. Who wants, who's next? Anybody who's else? Four sixty something, and that's <laughs> um, <laughs> God. <sighs> Anyway, uh, getting through that, getting through Nets itself was probably an accomplishment with yeah. how how it was. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, um, I mean, my I, I've honestly been like kind of happy with how my competitive like when I first started uh, the game, like building up to now. It's like first goal was top two fifty six got there, second goal was one twenty eight got there, top sixty four took me a couple tries, but we got there eventually. So I mean, we're, mm -hmm. we're slowly slowly getting better and better, and then yeah. Nets took me out the back and shot me so <laughs> that gave, was where you got old yeller <laughs> give me they gave me they gave me three dogs to contend with they, they yeah, just yeah. like put me in an alley put three rabid dogs there and they were like kill him <laughs> i get it now old yeller got paid oh, old yeller got you he got the gun and he turned yeah. it on everybody else. it's a dog with a gun in his mouth yeah <laughs> yeah cool. nice how about you rb or rio uh oh sure. Uh, I, don't know, I used to be like top 500 in Magic Arena. Uh, that's not like super, but you know, I mean, there's a lot of Magic yeah. players. There's, I was gonna that's say, pretty, that's, that's, pretty <laughs> that's pretty impressive. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, uh, I did that for like a couple seasons in that game, and then you know, got tired of the grind. Um, this was like you lose one game, go down 50 spots, win one game, go up three. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. How about you, Rio? Uh, I guess I have nothing amazing in this game just because I also don't play that many like online yeah. regionals. Mm -hmm. Uh, once once we start getting in persons again, like we well, actually hopefully we'll, we'll start grinding away at that. But uh, I guess my only real big thing was like top thirty-two and 
basically all my Bushiroad uh, Vanguard regionals. Nice. Except for my first one, because my deck got stolen. That was cool. <laughs> but, uh... Uh, so yeah, I top 32 in all my Vanguard regionals except for the first one. Uh, same goes for Buddy Fight. I did pretty well in nice. Buddy Fight. Mm -hmm. But yeah, nothing crazy. <clears throat> nice. Um, I think mine is sort of mirroring what Jarrell had mentioned to you, sort of like looking, looking at my progression over the past year. I really didn't start like doing more regionals until last year. And I would like do okay. Like there were a couple of times where I like did decently well and I was like, okay, like the goal is to just get better. And I think also just like seeing myself get better as a player is something that I think I'm pretty proud of. And then Gen Con and Nats, I think went relatively well too. You know, Gen Con, I got 21st at the in-person one. And then Nats, we like snuck into just close enough to top 100, which I mean, I'll, I'll take that any day. Um, especially when I compare it to last year, you know, like last year when I was at Nats, it was like, it was, it was rough. <laughs> it was definitely rough, but you know, coming here and it just, yeah, I mean, I definitely see my growth as a player and I think that's probably the biggest thing. Numbers aside, I think it's just the growth overall is something I'm proud of. At least you got to play in last year's Nets. <laughs> <laughs> I spent $150. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I was not talking about that. It's a joke. Um... <clears throat> Next question we got here is from Stream, who, you know, I noticed him commenting a lot in the Discord, you know, a lot of great deck building, like, commentary and sort of back and forth. So shout out to Stream for giving us a question here. Um, and his question here is, what is, who is your most salty slash goofy player? Or what is the most salty, like, encounter at locals in any match? Hmm. Let's take a moment to reflect on good old Mr. Stack. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is, yeah. This, yeah. is stack, it, this is definitely a stack question. Yeah. This is this is one that I brought up in the first recording. Um, yeah. But the the time that we went to for, um, forever right. after, yeah, um, yeah. we ended up Rio and I went there with stack. We ended up not playing because the ad the price in the app was different than the price they charged us. Um, but stack went ahead and played anyway. Um, and he faced a second player that like was already like beating him to a pulp. But then also like talking down on him so stack got pretty salty um but i mean you know it is what it is <laughs> yeah. but like as far as like personal like salty slash goofy stuff um not really too much i know tj has one in mind <laughs> I, dude i love i love our one short that we have of just the just gas no gas <laughs> only gas <laughs> just keeps on hard drop on level fours so and i just keep on having a death slinger because i couldn't i didn't have anything else in hand i didn't want him to build up so i kept on just trying to kill whatever he put <laughs> i think i lost that game i'm pretty sure i lost, I'm pretty sure I lost it because i was too busy trying to control your board and i wasn't like doing anything else on my turn <laughs> oh That's i've had salty game. situations personally for days like no matter what <laughs> game i play uh, the, the one that stands out personally for Digimon is just, it was unfortunate just cause like I had an opponent who was playing, uh, what was it, Vmon line, just like mm -hmm. armor, and he was just telling me the round before how he's like, man, you're, play you're playing Sekhan, bro? Yeah, my one of my best friends plays that deck, I hate playing that deck with this deck, it just doesn't work, I'm like, yeah, it's rough, bro, and then of course get paired the next round. <laughs> And he just proceeds to let me do whatever I want for three turns and then scoops and just leaves. I was like, I felt oh, so bad. I remember. I, 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 I yeah. How you're talking about, yeah. Where he, that was he so just, rough. Like, rough for him, but also rough for me, because I'm like, man, am, am I really becoming <laughs> that guy? Am I the bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> Are but, uh, the baddies? Yeah. I, the, right villain there. villain arc <laughs> completed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the one that stands out most in my mind, though, it happened in Buddy Fight, but uh, it just it was just unfortunate because this girl. Uh, she had, she was like, she was like a fan of the anime. She had like, the, the this certain character's fully built deck, highest rarity it can be. And she's like, what are you playing? I'm like, oh, I'm playing this deck from like three sets ago. That's all I can really afford, but it's cool. She's like, yeah. And it just so happened that my deck's mechanic countered her deck's mechanic. So basically, <laughs> the, the, the idea in Digimon concept is her deck, when it, it would leave the field, she can pull two cards out of it, out of like the, uh, the Digivolution sources to keep it on the field. And I had a weapon in my deck that said, if I kill your creature with this, no effect can keep it alive. So I swung through it, and then I swung at her and killed her in the same oh. turn. Oh, and God. 
she proceeded to call judge on me and I was like she was like you can't do that and I'm like actually it's she's like it can't be defeated by effects I'm like it's not an effect it's a game mechanic <laughs> and she's like well let's call judge I'm like no it's fine yeah you can call judge judge says the same thing she proceeds to sign the wind slip and throws a slip in my face and the judge oh. and I just stared at each other we're like did that just happen and then <laughs> we're laughing it doesn't help that through the rest of the day I was there with like other guys from my locals and we would see her and we would just laugh and walk away <laughs> God. Or like those, they would like they would playfully pick up something, throw it at me, and just walk away from me. Like what oh, the fuck? Geez. But yeah, that was that was a big <laughs> one for me. Oh man. Yeah, I think something similar for me happened at like a One Piece regional. There, there was like an in-person one that I went to, and I mean I just got lucky <clears throat> with like my triggers and stuff. Like I thought it was a well-played match, but like. The guy was not very happy. He he like basically did say he just like chucked his like wins. He's like fuck you in your deck. I'm like okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Have a good day. Yeah, but I think one that stands at least for Digi was that Nats last year. Um, it was like a Black War like sort of like sausage fest. Um, and Grandis was floating around as like a direct counter to Black War. I love this um, <laughs> and this guy, it was like literally like we had set up. My opponent and I had just well like we got through like maybe the first two turns each. Like we had done nothing. I was playing Masty. He was playing all four. So like we're just going back. Eh, whatever. Like all of a sudden we hear like the table slam. And this guy just like starts shouting. He's like, fuck this. I didn't fly across the fucking country to play the best fucking deck in the format just to get clapped three rounds in a row. He like just stormed off, like just stormed off. And everybody's like, whoa, <laughs> it's not even like 10 minutes in the round. <laughs> he just like leaves. And then like everybody's silent for like a good like 30 seconds or whatever, right? And then like we start playing again. And then we see this guy like storm back in because he left all his stuff on the table as he stormed out. He like grabbed the stuff and just like walked out again. I was just like, oh, oh. God. it's it's such like a, an embarrassing walk of shame to have to do when you storm out and then you have to you have to walk back in in oh. front of everyone you just made a scene in front of and fucking get your shit together. Well, the thing I I oh, I see God. where his tilt came from. I wouldn't have yeah. reacted that way, but like. Like he played Grandis like three rounds in a row and just got like bopped and I was just like, well, that that does suck. I hate Grandis, but <laughs> suspend, suspend the Black War Greymon and swing. I feel like it. I have like an anti anti Grandis charm built in because every time I play a Grandis player, they just brick. No must be nice. I only fight Trevor and uh, he <laughs> break. When I played Trevor, he bricked. I think I played Trevor's Grandis before. And then I think when I play, I played Camry's Grandis a lot, and Camry would always break against me <laughs> so much. All right. So the next question that we have here is from BB Dudes. Shout out to the homie, uh, fellow content creator. Um, he's probably known as the comedian, the Digi comedian. He's the fun. Um, He's the funny guy on the DigiTubes, um, but great channel. Um, check out his content. You'll love it for sure. Um, and his question reads, favorite card artist and who's someone you'll always vibe with art-wise? Anyone want to take a stab at it? There's, I mean, there's a ton it's, of fucking great artists in this game. It's really yeah. hard. Yeah, the artist in the game was so good. Yeah. Yeah. Across the board, Digimon's art is phenomenal in mm -hmm. my opinion. In my opinion, don't want to get mad at me. Okay, <laughs> it's just how I feel. It's it's the best card art like out of any TCG that I've seen. I think mm. there are, are there's I've definitely seen other good art, but like Digimon's art just like it, it, yeah. it hits a dopamine th trigger in my brain. It's oh, definitely yeah. got like a bunch of like varying different styles. Mm. They have all yeah. the different artists. Yeah. yeah, and also just the way they set up the card. Where like 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 for the altars, for example, where the entire card becomes the art. Because not yeah. all games do that. Some like they'll still keep like aspects of the. Mm -hmm. The actual like um, usual, like, and it looks nice too. Structure. It's, re it's yeah. readable. Yeah, yeah. It's all it's structured very well still. Great. Um, I think for me though, I'd have to say favorites are definitely Tanami Kanji is always like he's the Kanji. person where I've, I I every mm -hmm. Tanami Kanji art I see I love, I just love it. They, they, it hits it hits a uh, hits it hits the right spot. Um, and then spare ribs though has been insane. Reason. Yes. Air ribs. Air ribs always hits. There's like, so much like, uh, it, the art's so dynamic. Yeah. Like it, you can feel like a weight to the art. It's amazing. It's awesome. Um, and then you can't go on without Chika Morishita. Like he just, yeah. the artist dude. Like, oh, epic fucking cards. 
Can't forget about Sasasi either. Sasasi's oh, yeah. also real Sasasi, clean. Sasasi ults from EX. Yeah. From EX6, so didn't Sasasi do all the alts? The, yeah. Yes, the EX6 are so good because well, oh, uh, oh, they're oh. also the one that did the Beelzebub stuff in the structure deck because they have that like that kind yeah. of comic book. Style yeah, I was about to so say. Cool. Yeah. That, like sort of like bold outline in a way. Yeah. Real clean. Real, real clean. Yeah. Going a, like a little bit of the opposite direction, Koki, Koki, and like the fluffy, cozy really? artworks. Yeah. 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 Just Koki so there's really something good. so great, like the the uh, was it Patamon and um. Oh, what's the other one called? The BT8 Pata? Yeah. yeah. The, the blue Patamon? Mm-hmm. Where he's like falling. He's that like, so <laughs> he's so yeah, bubbly. He's like... <laughs> I like his um, Agu one. I think it's from BT8 as well. Like the blue Agu, or snow Agu, where they're like running. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think overall, the game, like you said, TJ, the art in general for Digimon has just been like super clean. And like with each set, it just gets better. And better, like ES EX six looks absolutely like clean. It's beautiful, yeah. dude. They killed it with that. But, like, it looks oh so gorgeous. God. It's in, it's insane. And the playmat they're gonna be releasing with it too. Yeah, like, I, I can't believe. Not to mention the <laughs> well, Mirai. So here's the, here's the problem. That's not an actual playmat they're releasing though. That's just like the like the little paper mat that you can yeah. get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get that on an actual mat though. I can't believe my net worth is just gonna be Mirai alt arts. That's crazy. <laughs> wow, one thousand dollars? Just one wall covered in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I keep my gold. <laughs> He's ready for the four hundred dollar playset. Slaps oh, the wall. This bad boy can fit so oh. much Mirai on it. <laughs> Mastermon and Royal Knights are gonna be my most expensive deck, so <laughs> I mean I'm gonna need those with you. Yeah. Um but I think TJ basically just covered all the artists. Sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. It's, it's fine. It's fine. You're, no, you're good. I mean, the thing is, there, there's still more. There's there is more. more yeah. There's more artists that are still... Yeah. Like, my, my honorable mention is uh, Kenji Watanabe. I love his yeah, art. Classic. Kenji, yeah, yeah, Kenji's like, a classic. Yeah, Kenji's a classic. Again, thank you, Jarrell, for having my, my signed one. Ooh. Yeah, but yeah it's, his art is gorgeous. Like, the, the detail he puts into everything. And it always varies, too, which is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, but we can move on to the next question here. And this is from MaxMex96. What are your thoughts on the upcoming cards for future sets? What kind of mechanics would you like to see? Um, Even though it's about to be cracked, let's go. Yeah, yeah dude. The yeah. new, the new yeah. cards look so good. All the new oh, mechanics monsters. look very interesting. Mm -hmm. And like they look like unique takes on stuff that they've already kind of dabbled with. Um, it's it's really exciting. It's yeah, because really I think the first uh, I was gonna say the first time around that we recorded this like EX six reveals like just started. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, every every new effect we get has been popping off. Everything seems so fun. Every mechanic seems so interesting. And all play so different, but they're all like valuable in their own way. It's gonna be mm -hmm. good. laughs in yeah. fucking paladin mode ace. God, what the dude. shit? The new ace. Well, what I the mean, fuck is, is so that card? Not, not just that. That and like crimson, crimson mode ace is basically oh my an eight, God. It's an eight cost wild. option. It's an eight cost like option that targets different things. Yes, and it stays yeah. on the board afterwards. It can yeah. just trash security if it wants to. Like uh, the, the other crazy thing too with it, all of it is like, um, it. I really like that they're putting it all with the ace mechanic stuff. So there is like a there's like a a, a risk reward to it too. So it's sure. not just completely broken. There is like a risk there that like something can go wrong and you could lose a lot of memory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's ready to pop yeah. a full ace that can get 19 memory or whatever? It was. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna bounce your shit with my ace Melgay. <laughs> yeah. Also, I'm I'm the ace. Yeah. They're pushing A, so it doesn't just fall off, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. it's always like the fear that they put a new mechanic out there, and then like this rotated out with, with other yeah. cards yeah. i mean it's, it's a good uh it's a good what they call like evergreen mechanic where it's just in, in everything um because it's you know like high risk high reward rest um, in, it's rest in yeah. pringles digiburst <laughs> yeah <laughs> so well, they're, 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 uh, it's also I don't know if there's that, that they're like they're spreading the ace mechanic throughout different archetypes too they're not just like yeah, yeah. oh yeah. here's the main cast they have their ace card that's it they're giving it to like loads of different uh yeah and, and stuff, which is i think like ace two 
because I mean, every game, every card game in general is going to have power creep, right? Like we're going to get to a point where cards are going to start getting oh. a little bit. Oh, we lost Rio. We lost Rio. He'll be back. Man down. <laughs> we, we, we get, get situations where like no. cards are like super like strong or like effects are like going crazy. Like we had like a bunch of OTK decks. We had a bunch of combo decks that just like spammed wide boards and stuff. I feel like Ace is like RB was saying, high risk, high reward as like a balancing system where like you can interact a little bit more with these decks that want to take you out of the game. Because mm -hmm. how many times have we like done, like even tonight, like there are times where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do my thing, boo. And they're like, Ace. I was like, oh shit, I forgot about that. Yeah, uh, it, it, it can sneak up on you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think the more they push Ace, I think that I, it's nice. I don't think it's overwhelming yet, and I don't think they're going too far into mm -hmm. ace i think it's it's like a pretty decent balance the top ends being aces i'm a little bit more curious about just because it's like that can get real nutty because now it's just like every time you go into a top end you're gonna be wondering like is there a, is there an ace seven <laughs> that'll do like a ragna ace yeah yeah that's you know having uh level seven aces is definitely gonna be scary it's quite Bond literally ace. me playing as RB today in locals. It's just like, I can't swing. I know he's going to ace me. <laughs> 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 Fucking wear guru I, and metal I, I guru. Mean, or metal yeah, guru. It, it got so many people like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, the funny thing is, when you said that, uh, I was just bluffing. <laughs> Listen, I know it's gonna happen anyway. Yeah. That's, that's the beauty of it, dude. That's the whole thing with yeah. it, right? Where you can like you have that mind game, that extra yeah. like level yeah. of thought that goes into every play you make. Does he have the counter? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like there like even with like your fours and your fives, like there have been times like playing Mirage, I'll just like put a level four out there and like pass turn and they'll be like, Does he have the Zudo Ace or not? And they sort yeah. of like I can you I can tell that they're like playing around it just in case. So, I mean, I think Ace is definitely a good mechanic. They they, yeah. they hit it right with that one. At first, I was skeptical, but then I was like, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Um, I, I, I know when we recorded this the first time around, like, we went a little long in the discussion, but I mean, and I touched, this, touched on this a tiny bit, mm. um, the Digivices. So, mm. when I mentioned this the first time around when we recorded it, is that, you know, they could kind of take from, like, One Piece or, like, you know, now Dragon Ball Fusion World, where... If you could start a game with a Digivice and it would have like a downside, like maybe you'd start with less mm -hmm. security or less cards in hand, but it also give you like an effect that is just persistent throughout the game. Yeah. Yeah. Like a it's interesting. interesting. Sort of like, yeah. Almost like a. Or essentially just have like a tamer, um, right? Yeah. Just have like a tamer the then. equivalent. The. Um... Border zone. Oh, the energy or like, counter? Yeah. Or the energy counter, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that'd be interesting because I mean we've seen like we said like you said with Dragon Ball Fusion right it's basically Dragon Ball like trying to be a One Piece Junior in a sense yeah and, like Bandai clearly loves One Piece yeah. um yeah. and they've been trying to make games more like it I mean I get where they're coming from it's been super successful but I think mm -hmm. TJ you've mentioned it a couple of times too like there's other reasons that it's successful in the way that it yeah. is I think. <laughs> While One Piece, I think, is designed well as a TCG for the most part, from what I've witnessed. Admittedly, I don't play myself. I, I'm a bystander. I just watch. It just makes Vanguard me want to play, play Vanguard more. Um, <laughs> see, I, I could see that, yeah. Uh, yeah. But like, it's just it. I to me, I think what, the reason it sells so good is because of the IP more than anything else. Yeah. One Piece right. is an Huge. incredibly popular IP. Is mm. I'd say that it does like it. It is bigger than Dragon Ball nowadays. Yeah, there's Dragon Balls. I, I think you'd be right. <laughs> well, yeah. it's still like a household classic, and like yeah. almost everyone knows the name. We, I mean, we haven't had any more anime stuff because Super's been, you know, paused while the manga was getting ahead. Yeah, uh, we've gotten a couple of like lukewarm games here and there that haven't been anything special. Yeah, and then the card game itself wasn't doing particularly well, um, to my knowledge, at least. So mm -hmm. it, Dragon Ball's definitely just kind of been falling off in later years. Well, it's still cool. There's still a lot of cool stuff there. Yeah. Um, Those motherfuckers are getting an online client. <laughs> that's, God, that's, that's God fucked up. damn it. That's, that's, the, that, that's, that's mental terrorism is what yeah. that is. Right? I will say, though, the, the Hong's sim that oh. we've been testing, yeah. it's getting closer and closer. Wee, it's what is this real... Wee? 
<laughs> Sir, oh, you. <laughs> it looks good. It looks good from what he's. he's Absolutely so fucking amazing. Like yeah. it is. It's great. I mean, obviously there's still bugs to be done, and we're like working on some of that stuff daily. But like, it's good. It's really, really good. I'm yeah. excited for it. Yeah. 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 The devices are the only thing that they haven't implemented in the game yet. So. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and we've already gotten some other cool stuff going on with like Diaboromon's like sort of ticking time bomb oh, mechanic yeah. that we're going to be getting. That's going to be awesome. More and more That's alternate win conditions is always nice. Yeah. Alternate. Not. Give, give, yeah. <laughs> not Apocalymon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. If it didn't just have immunity to everything, it'd be fine. <laughs> It doesn't. I played no. three Apocalypse against Justin in one game. <laughs> I played probably a total of like six or seven that entire well, match. Who won that game? I did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyways, moving on. Moving on. We've got another question here from Psycho Sloth. Um, what kind of games do you like to play outside of card games? Card Ooh. games. <laughs> yeah. Magic for hammering. No. Physical card games, online card games. Yeah. I like to play a hacky <laughs> <Trump. laughs> yeah. uh, ARPGs mostly. Yeah. Um, a lot of paths yeah. like now. Yeah. I'm probably a JRPG rhythm game and slight yeah. fighting games. So. Yeah. yeah, I do a lot of JRPG too. Yeah, I think right now my wallet is split between card games and pulling from my waifus and Star Rail. Yeah. <laughs> It depends on my mood. I have vibes where it's like, oh, I'll play. I, I usually can back her on all the JRPG, oh, no. but I'll play just about anything and everything. <laughs> yeah, my same. wallet's already crying. At any, the any, anything besides sports games for me. Yeah. On that yeah. note, small tidbit. I don't know if I mentioned this. The other one, I did play competitive FIFA for a while back. Yeah, back yeah. in college. Um, so that was my thing until, and then I started getting into more TCGs and stuff. I mean, I still play FIFA now and then, um, not competitively, but for funsies. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's the waifu pool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> next question we got. <laughs> next was, question we got here. Is, oh, yeah, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, see me in my ten different gacha games that I'm. In. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, Percival is for uh, our next next question giver. Do you think, or do you guys think that Red Hybrid and Shine Greymon will still be competitive in BT15 and BT16? Well, luckily we've got two who kind of play the deck pretty religiously, or not religiously, but pretty well. So why don't you go? Why don't you guys take a stab at it? Um, as the resident once Shine Grain player who hasn't touched it <laughs> since. He <laughs> got a store chance with it and then he put the deck in the vault because he felt bad uh, <laughs> and he felt the ban coming yeah. Yeah. um i think it's probably worth it to maybe adjust the question a little bit in the sense sure. of where we're at now because the question was definitely asked yeah before. yeah we had not bt15 um, yet i think the we could probably change it to be more like do we think that uh, amongst those decks as well but like what yeah. decks do we think are going to be competitive moving forward past BT15 because we're in BT15 now. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, that are older decks. Um, and I, I think Shine Gray is still fine. Yeah. It's still, still an OTK deck. I mean, it, it lost the, yeah. the BT13 Geo Gray, but yeah, you still have all yeah, your other pieces fine. that you need to do your OTK. Yeah. And we're getting the, the more support. Are still anyways. there. Everything's still valid. It's, yeah. It's yeah. the only deck I think that like, all the cards are consistently two colors. Like I've seen friends slap four red trainings four yellow trainings and be fine yeah. <laughs> real, real. I, yeah. I am that you guy can very much play the deck very well still yeah. um yeah. i i would say i haven't messed with it too much recently i i have like done some test hands here when i've felt a certain itch uh, i mean like jeremy still plays shine at yeah, locals yeah, and like still well. does a yeah. pretty strong okay. showing mm -hmm. most of the time so yeah agree yeah hard agree what do you think about red hybrid drill Mm. Uh, especially with the stuff that just got leaked, although that's more of an ancient gray angle at this point. Hey, 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 hey. Still hybrid. <laughs> hey. Uh, it's still hybrid. It's still hybrid. It's still yeah. hybrid. Last in seven checks, no options. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, red hybrid at this point, like now that it's got like the two, the two Tsukuyas, we're probably going to get a new one. Um, mm -hmm. It's basically just become like your generic aggro deck. Yeah. yeah. 
It's like, the go-to tamer deck, I think. Or, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, that and the addition, or not the addition, but the utilization of Uko as well. Oh, yeah, that just made, so, it, still, made it go I mean, so much yeah. faster. It yeah. turbos through the deck really quickly. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, thinking about it now, it's like, Digimon, like, we have aggro, but we don't have, like, pure aggro like red hybrid yeah, does that is yeah, yeah for sure basically rookie rod we used to have rookie rod yeah. Yeah. red hybrid is pretty much that now and i think i mean i think malga's pretty aggro and not until not until the hits <laughs> yeah right but the um, i think the reason it works so well for red hybrid is because it's a hybrid deck mm -hmm. and i think it's harder for other like tra like more traditional decks that build a stack mm -hmm. or even mm -hmm. whiteboard strategies to a degree to mm -hmm. be yeah. especially aggro Unless they have rush, mm -hmm. um, because it's there's just more board control in the game right now, and mm -hmm. there's still like tamers at least have a good buffer for mm -hmm. a lot of things. Yeah. yeah, there's not too much yeah. tamer interaction. I mean, to coin a term for magic, it's basically your red deck wins. Yeah, it yeah, is. it is literally a red deck wins. So, um, load of load of the ground just hits you really fast, mm -hmm. really yeah. hard. Like it'll um, it'll forever. I, well, I don't. I wouldn't say forever, but it'll it'll be a good strategy for at least a decent chunk of time. I think. Yeah. I think like just like in Magic, it's always going to be like one of those meta call things. Like if there is mm -hmm. an aggro deck that, or if there's a control deck that beats out a lot of the meta, like the red deck wins can kind of just go faster. I, mm -hmm. I think it's also one of those decks where if if you don't win on the turn that you start swinging into security or you don't do a yeah. good amount of damage when you start going into security you're looking at one hell of a clap back potentially between yeah. atomic infernos takuya's coming out of security uh like all the whole shebang it can get crazy yeah. that's much of the fact oh, that I mean, more mean, hybrids mm. and trash for what do you mean takuya's come out of security they never come out okay. of security. <laughs> takuya going into emperor and just like swinging yeah. for what Darrell said, 7k. <laughs> seven, 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 seven checks. Seven checks, 21k. No options. Um, no options. <laughs> <You're just> like, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess I lose. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, like, I know sort of like adjusting the question a little bit too, it's like not just talking about Red Hybrid and Shine Gray, but like, I kind of like where the developers have taken the game to a point where you know, we're still talking about decks that are like EX4, BT14, uh -huh. yeah. and they're still very much relevant. Like, they're not just like, oh, yeah, like they'll sneak in a few. Like, we've got decks that are still like very, very good with like very minimal like pieces or additions to it. Definitely like Machine still. for the first time got pieces like now with like the Marvins and like some of the cyborg stuff. Yeah. But it's been a while since Machine got any support. And Machine was still doing like decent work. Like Mirage will still do decent work in BT15 even after the hit, and I think mm -hmm. it gets even better with BT16 with the new Galga that gives jamming. So like yeah. these decks are still going to be around, which I think is a shout out to the developers to keep like a pretty diverse field still going. Yeah, yeah. I mean if you look at our locals and like <laughs> yes. everyone. Yes. No, I, right, I mean I. I, I say this is the, the top two decks tonight were um <laughs> Melga and Apocly. No, I got bumped to fourth. Yeah. I got bumped. Oh, okay. I mean, I mean, like, top, top two table. The only reason I got bumped to fourth is because everyone else I played against fucking tied. tied? <laughs> anyway. Um, I tied. I no, I can't I can't wait for, for the new EOS monster for coming. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> well, I, and I think it's, it almost, I think we said this in the first recording too, mm. that it, it almost feels kind of, almost kind of golden agey for Digimon right now in terms mm. of like, I feel like we're getting more and more decks mm -hmm. that maintain relevance mm -hmm. or yeah. are getting enough support to become relevant and compete with other top decks or at least be like tier two or rogue picks. Um, well, because like even last year, like, I almost felt like if I were to play in a big competitive regional, like I almost had to play like one or two decks in order to like do decent. Now I'm like, I honestly feel like I could just roll up to regionals next month with like a BT14 deck and be just fine. Yeah, yeah. I, we talked about this in the first recording too. Last year's Nats was literally the triangle of War Grey, Grandis, Mastamon. <laughs> or no, yeah. sorry. Uh, cross, War, cross. War, War Grey, Cross, and then like you're off like Masta, Grandis, whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah yeah it's very refreshing to see like especially when like eggman does his like pie charts right and we see like a digi regional or a big event and there's like a very widespread of like different decks and you see even decks that you're like oh shit like 
there isn't like an imperial you know like there's something that just like snuck in there and it's like it's nice to see like an alpha or whatever and then like you see games like for example like dbz it's like basically like 75 percent is one deck one piece it was like sakazuki and purple luffy and that was it or like sakazuki and l and that's it wasn't there um, like a, a period in one piece where the the, top, the, like, the, whole, the pie chart was basically red? just zoro like you yeah. might as well just pasted zoro's face and that would have been the pie chart. <laughs> zoro. do you have a deck do you think will be good going into the future rio into the future uh Sekon. Um... <laughs> Sakon never changes. We, we, did, we, did, we did see Sakon, you know, get second at uh yeah. Nexus yeah. here. Yeah. yeah, and I was like watching him explain his deck build too, and I was like, oh, like his, a lot of his choices were very, very smart. Like it was it was very pieced out too. Mm -hmm. Like he definitely adapted to his situation for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh the Digimon Emperor to counter red hybrid Uko Rush. Yeah. 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 I mean what what I want to come back honestly is Beelzemon. The deck was just so fun and so fast for such a short amount of time. It's the high roller. Yeah, we just need something to make it more consistent. Not not too like, consistent. <laughs> BLs can still very easily win games. Like Sunny's shown, like the BLs can still be very very scary because it mm -hmm. can be very fast. Mm -hmm. Um, especially because we have so many other decks now that like mill your opponent's yeah. cards or like, pizza man. Yeah. Guru for two weeks <laughs> and then i play the one of omnizu um but yeah it's i i agree i think bls i think bls is still like okay um i think that new rush bls that we get in mm. uh yeah. ex6 that is that pairs really good with the ballmon effects mm. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Being able to play, give rush and swing for extra checks after your ballmon swings and does some chip especially the bt10 yeah. ballmon <laughs> what do you mean that, that ballmon never dies <laughs> That is true. Um, got jamming like Eismon did. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Rest in peace, little dark dragon. Oh, you did good. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> yeah, so I also, awesome. I also really want Beelstar to do well because, like, it, this the game yeah. plan hasn't changed. Yeah. It still plays the same. It's just we need something to accelerate. I don't think that. Bandai likes that deck. <laughs> we need, I, I, it needs. Like, we can we get like the occasional few cards that can like work as support for it, but mm -hmm. it definitely just needs like. It needs, it needs a core. Yeah. It needs a core. So you're saying out. it needs more Booba. The Guru engine was great for it, but now yeah. that they it doesn't help that like all the support that would make me, give me a yeah, the support that would make the deck good. It's just too universally good in purple. Yeah. 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 Nice. Um, any other thoughts before we move on to the next question? Let's go. We'll move on. We're moving on to the last two. Um, the second to last question is by our one and only Trevor. Uh, shout out to him coming back to Digi for the first time in a while. He's been playing a lot of Pokemon, and tonight he came back for his first Digi locals in a while. So, <laughs> and, and then I traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> Round one He's played against Apocalypse. So, <laughs> welcome back to the meta boy. <laughs> Hey, no Charizards around here. I remember his <laughs> face too. You turned to Apocalypse him, and he just looked up, and we made eye contact. Turn, He's like, turn one, like, I had huh? turn one, I had three <laughs> three Ukos on board. Turn two, I had an Apocalypse on board, and already milled him eight. And he had didn't. Mm -hmm. He had like the top eight cards had two rookies, <laughs> and he was looking for a rookie like off the bat. His and face was so shook. He immediately so scooped scared. and went to game two, and I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but his question was, "How the hell y'all stay so handsome?" TJ, you can answer that one. Um, a rigorous routine of shaving myself with an axe. Uh, this isn't done by anything electronic. You know, I um, I go out back. I go ahead. I lather together some, some honey, uh, some dirt. I rub that on my scalp. I take the axe and I just fucking <laughs> peel that shit back, brother. Smooth as a baby's bottom. Is what the ladies say. What That's about. what I say. Yep. Mm. Hell yeah, brother. I need to fucking, um, I need to fucking shave. Is all I need to fucking do. Um, when when I was reading that question, I like thought of the like Christian Bale, like the opening sequence from American Psycho, where he's like going through his like daily routine. I <laughs> don't <laughs> 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 the one me. The one. The, yeah. Yeah. No. Um, but I think this one is the last one. Warren Echo. What is the origin story of Hyper Coliseum and what were our first impressions of each other? Good one to end the end the series on. Hey guys, do you want to record some locals? Yeah, I done. Done. <laughs> done. <laughs> done. <laughs> done. <laughs> done. <laughs> done. 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 Done.
I ordered equipment from Amazon that he was pointing out, and then I brought them to locals, and he was like, "What the fuck? <laughs> Why did you do this?" <laughs> Yeah, I, I that pretty much was it. Yeah. yeah. Much it. it was literally just like Jarrell had an idea, Arby had the money, and then yeah. we just <laughs> fucking slap that shit together, throw it on a table, call it a day. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think another thing too is like we we all had been playing for together for a while. I think you guys were playing longer than like since when TJ and I first came to the shop. Like we first mm -hmm. came to Dean's, but you guys had it like in a community already established. But like we yeah. started playing together more. I think we also just wanted to like at first just like record stuff i don't think we really had the intent of like making like a big youtube project out of it yeah. Yeah. but i think one night we just were talking about it and we're like we could just do commentary and see where this shit goes <clears throat> i think yeah. it started then, with like, the podcast more than anything yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i think the podcast so, did it i love podcasts mm. so much even though the community doesn't love it i do that's my guilty <laughs> But I think some people were like, yeah, you guys should do commentary. We start doing it and then things started growing and like evolving and got to the point where we are today. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I mean, I think in terms of origin story, that's really about it. It was just like a group of guys who wanted to just spend more time together, have fun and then yeah, play Digi. Yeah, <laughs> we just, we just needed more excuses outside of like the twice a week we saw each other to hang out. True. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. yeah. Uh, Let's do, I think we should do round robin for the first impressions of each other, just like real quick. Yeah. Okay, so I'll go first. <clears throat> uh, Jarrell, socially awkward because that's how I am. So I knew that we were the same. Uh, Arby, <laughs> you were very nice and you made me feel welcome. Rio, I was intimidated. Oh. <laughs> and then and then I started talking to you more and I was like, oh, okay, no, he's really nice. Because I was like, I was, I'd always heard like horror stories about judges and TCGs and I didn't know. But it was just it was just the legends. That's all they were. Um, <laughs> I thought was the cool guy at the shop because I remember distinctly one part where I was like scooping up my stuff by myself at the table. I look over and then there's like Ben and Shane and like it was uh Will and his wife, and then there was uh like a couple of other people that were like at the table with you guys, mm -hmm. and like everyone was looking at you while you were saying something, and I was just like, hey, he's the leader. <laughs> hey, he's the He's the alpha. I understand <laughs> yeah. that. It makes sense to me. I have to. I have to get into the pack. I'm an omega right now. I'm a little oh, lone pup wandering the woods. But um, yeah, that was me. How about you, Arbus? <clears throat> um, I don't know. I I kind of just believe everyone. Everyone's pretty nice to me. So my impression of everybody is like. I mean, that's how you are to everyone okay. else, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's the goal. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I just try to treat everyone nicely and hope they do it back. And if they don't, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. They know that we talk shit about him. <laughs> mm. You see that fucking stack guy at the shop today? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean, I think for me, like I said, I met you, TJ, with sort of a mane of hair, too. I thought you were like one of those like Wait, cool rocker dudes. I have a picture. <laughs> he did this last time. Don't stop. Okay, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> like you look like um like one of those guys who were like I'd expect to be in a band. I was like shit, he's gonna like whip out a guitar and just like serenade me. <laughs> he's that guy in the anime who like carries his deck around in like a guitar case. You're like that doesn't make any sense, but that's cool. Again. He just opens it up and there's like all this foam in it. I know. Um, and then RB, I think I first met you at Dean's yeah. and the first time I met you was when you're like, here, I've got some cards if you want to look for trays. And it's like this huge fucking binder with like, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this man's got everything. Yeah. And then Jarrell, I was like, shit, I pissed this man off. I think we were like playing and I misplayed. It was like the first couple of turns and you're like, you can't do that. I was like, oh shit, I done <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Oh, but the games were fun. I think we were, we ended up having a ton of fun with our games. I think it was like one of the weeks before store championships or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm. And then Rio, I was like, in I saw you. I was like, instantly, I was like, this guy's fucking dripped out. You got like your like baseball jersey shirt on with like your like jeans and stuff. I was like, man, this guy's got drip shit. Yeah, Rio, Rio does have the nice jackets and the nice shirts. Where's that picture? <laughs> 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 anybody, anybody else want to go? I was going to say while well, he's looking it's for that. <laughs> um, I mean, first impressions of everyone. I mean, 
like like we said, Arbu is just really nice. You, you know, introduce himself and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think I kind of get where everyone's coming from. Where like Rio Rio is kind of intimidating at first, but then you like actually get to know him, and it's like you know everything's fine. Um, I think Rio was pissed off the first time I showed up with the shots too. I think you were mad about a matchup, so that didn't help. <laughs> um, and then for Ben, uh, I mean, like you said, we like I think the first time we interacted was like a store champs or like mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I don't know. It was like the the way you like presented yourself and like the way I looked at you because you I mean you have the hat on you were like you know had like the fucking like um, like the soccer jersey on. I was like, man, this guy seems kind of cocky. <laughs> 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 but I don't know. I mean, <laughs> um, but yeah, it was like, I mean, it, was like it didn't help yeah. that he was like only talking to Shane too. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's like, yeah, because you and Shane, like, Shane was really intimidating at first, because, like, he's a good uh, player. It was, he's like, it was, it was, Shane was our boogeyman. Like, yeah, he would yeah. fucking, like, demolish us, and it's like, yeah. Jesus Christ. He just showed up at the shop one day, kicked our asses. And like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then, like, uh, I know Arby started talking to, like, TJ and Shy more, started playing yeah. a fair game, and then eventually I got dragged into that, and then, you know, we all kind of just meshed together. Yeah. yeah. And now we're here, two, two, one and a half, two years later, two, almost two, yeah. Almost two, yeah. Sure. yeah. 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 Uh, I guess for me, uh, <laughs> I always say it's like the the one that stands out to me the most is RB because it was just so funny the way like everything was set up. Because I think I think he came through towards the the first time I met him was like towards the end of our first tournament, mm -hmm. like our one of our tournaments. And he just came in. He's like, "Hey guys." He was he was like buying boxes. He's like, "Hey guys, you guys, you guys have any trades?" And we're like, "Yeah. What, what, what do you have? Let's let's look." So he's look. He's flipping through our peasant binders, and he <laughs> dropped like two k's worth of binders on the tables. <laughs> and I look at the other guys. We're like, "Where the fuck did this dude come from?" I was like, Where, "Where'd you get all these cards?" He's like, "My my work gave me a bonus, and I had no I had no <laughs> one to use them on, which was priceless." And then like the week after, he started playing with us with uh, Kevin. So like that was. He kind of just got absorbed into our group from that point on. Yeah. Same thing with Drill. Drill just swung through Dean's one day to buy boxes, and then he just started showing up to play. And then we just. I mean, it was, it was a pretty welcoming group at first, so yeah. I was like, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. The, yeah. the good thing about Dean's is uh, most of the the guys who started playing at Dean's, with, with, as far as Digimon goes, we've played multiple games together, so we kind of just slowly shift from one game mm. to the next. Mm. Uh, yeah. TJ showed up with Shy. You guys just hanging out. I don't know, man. I th I think I I think I come off intimidating because I sit by myself in a corner. That's <laughs> yes, very true. I mean, like, the Hoffman like that Yakuza boss over here. <laughs> the Hoffman said the same thing to me, and I find it hilarious because they were like, "Yeah, we, like we didn't know we should talk to you because you're just sitting there by yourself." And then someone talked to you first, and you were just laughing your ass off. And I was like, "Oh, I guess he's okay." <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, Ben. No, when when I first saw Ben, I was like, "Man, this guy doesn't belong here." Yeah. Came fully Where decked out in soccer gear. We're like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, like the only thing I could compare you to was like, you know, like in the old like Beyblade series, like that sports team that had, like, had Beyblades, and like, they would like throw a basketball and a Beyblade would pop out. And I was like, you and did you? I was like, man, like, like what got this guy into card games? You're like, oh yeah, he's wearing full soccer gear. Like he doesn't belong here. But yeah, like when you came, you came with Shane. I think the first time. Mm -hmm. You guys like you guys destroyed us because you're on a whole different level than us. I was like, man, bro, like, you, you guys did show for like a month and a half. We're like, they literally kicked our ass and disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> they never came back. I give up. I can't find where I used to have hair. <laughs> no, no. I don't know where. We'll it just went. like Photoshop it on right now. <laughs> I'll find it later, or something, and then I'll just send the picture over. I don't know where it went. I'm actually kind of sad. That's okay. To be continued. Anyways. To be continued. <laughs> But yeah, um, this video should now be continued because that does wrap it up uh, for all of our questions. Um, did want to do a quick shout out just to you guys in general. I know I did this sort of towards the beginning of the other video, but, you know, we passed a thousand K and we're like almost closing in on 1500. You know, we're at like, I think 1200 something right now. So like we're getting there. Um, it's been great. I mean, it's just been awesome watching the channel grow and also just watching each and every one of us kind of like pitching ideas contribute and kind of step up in different areas and kind of take ownership and leadership and 
you know, it's kind of brought out the best of all of us in certain ways. So I think that's been really great to see. And I think we just gotten a lot closer as friends too, you know, yeah. over the past year, which has been just awesome. You know, the fact that we can do this as like a side pro project, but also just grow together as friends has just been, for me, it's been just absolutely amazing. You know, you guys have become probably my closest friends over the past year, two years or so. So it's been, it's been awesome. Yeah. It's been a great journey. I mean, the channel's coming yeah, up yeah. on one year soon. Like yeah. our first, well, like, First, oh, yeah. first video yeah, on the yeah. channel has technically was technically uploaded in March. We started recording because I know I uploaded stuff to like my personal channel in like er, yeah. like like actually just oh, like yeah, February. Um, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. The first video on this channel was in March. So you're saying this tournament is anniversary tournament? Anniversary tournament. <laughs> <laughs> True. We we could just call it that. We could. Um, but yeah, and on top of that too, shout out to everybody who's been tuning in. You know we we're here because we're enjoying the game and we join each other's company but i think the channel and the growth and all of that a lot of it has to do with you guys who are you know constantly supporting us chiming in commenting on videos some of you guys are sharing videos amongst your community which is just awesome you know and it's just great to be able to spread the love of the game you know we at the end of the day we just love playing the game we love everything digimon and playing it and the fact that we can kind of share that with everybody in our community has also been just really wonderful um and we can't thank you guys enough for it you know and yeah. you know it was it was just really great too like over in la when we're like meeting people and they're like oh you guys are hyper coliseum is like that's not something i'd ever imagined doing like ever um and that was just really great and just a fun time real fun time yeah Anybody else have some closing thoughts before I keep rambling on like the the sob story I am? <laughs> no, not a sob story at all. I promise I'd hear it at one point. <laughs> I wasn't always like it's this. It's right man. here. It's right here. Yeah, it, it left here. It, I I spun my head around like in a way much like an owl. Ooh. Yeah, I guess overall, I guess in the end, overall, I got, like Ben said, thank you so much, everyone who yeah, we the really time appreciate watching us and help us. Yeah. But uh, I guess this is a good time to slide last last second things in. Don't forget to use our affiliate links. It really <laughs> helps. Uh, all the money we make goes back to the channel, essentially. Uh, also, please don't forget to sign up for the tournament if you guys get a chance to. Mm -hmm. The more people that show up, the more we get to pay out prize support. And that'd be helping you guys as, as well as helping us spread our name and get to know you guys better. Uh, again, we we won't be participating. It's all for you guys. So if you yeah. guys get to join, please do. It will be a fun time. Uh, we can yeah. it, and like was it? It's a couple weeks before the the next regional, right? Or so. Mm -hmm. It's about a week. I think a week's off. Yeah, yeah. You, you use like the training warm. ground after after Apocalypse Battlefield. You get to get mm -hmm. a little bit more. <laughs> the Apocalypse Battlefield. You know, do well at regionals. Get your serialized omnis. You know. God, Jesus has the platform. There, there's a case tournament uh, in a store in, in like in, in Chicago, in the Chicagoland area. I, I don't want to think about how much of that is going to be apocalypse. <laughs> yeah. Godspeed, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I mean, I think to That's kind of summarize great. what Rio was saying to you, last thing I'll point out about the tournament, as Jeremy also mentioned, was we will plan on streaming it um so probably we'll like either rotate we'll figure it out but the, the event will be streamed so we'll definitely be able to kind of enjoy the enjoy the games along with everybody who doesn't end up participating and tuning in so without further ado let us wrap this video up with a huge thank you to everybody watching you know this video was sort of a dedicated tribute to you all um so hopefully you guys learned a little bit about us, got to know us a little bit better on like a personal level. Um, if you have any more questions or, you know, want to connect, you know, hit us up in the comments, hit us up in the discord, like Rio had mentioned in our, so like hi, our link tree with all our socials, you know, hit us up. We're always down to interact with you guys and grow the community and we're here for you. And with that note, we will catch you on that flippy flip. Bye-bye. The line. Bye.